So the first thing we need to do is to create a preset. So I'm going to select this clip and move it few frames above the first clip. And next I'm going to move over to my effects tab over here and search for the transform effect. And apply this transform effect onto the top clip over here. Now I'm going to move over to my effects control panel over here. And I'm going to set keyframes to position. Now I'm going to drag this video down to the position where it can no longer be seen. And drag this keyframe to the start of this clip. Now a few frames past this first keyframe, I'm going to select this reset parameter here to add another keyframe. And what this did was that it brought back this clip to the top over here. So next thing I'm going to do is to deselect use composition and increase the shutter angle to 360. Now if I move back and hit play, you can see what we have created over here. And if that was too slow and you want to speed it up, you can always come back here and reduce the distance between these two keyframes. So if I go back now and hit play, you can see what we have created. Now to save this as a preset, all you need to do is to move over to your effects control panel and select every effect that has been added to that clip. Now in this case, we have applied only the transform effect. But if you have multiple effects, all you need to do is to select control and you can scroll down and select all the effects that you have applied. For example, you can select opacity over here, but I'm not going to select opacity because we didn't apply any effects to opacity. So select transform over here, right click and hit save preset. Now I'm going to save this preset as transform preset 2 because I already have a transform preset 1. So I'm going to hit OK. Now to test this, I'm going to drag a new clip onto my timeline over here and place this new clip slightly above my last clip over here and select it. Now I'm going to move over to my first library here and search for the transform preset 2 and you can see it over here. Now drag it onto this new clip over here and if I move back and hit play, you can see that effect apply over here. But it depends on the clip, you may need to adjust the speed. So you can go over here and drag these keyframes closer or apart to make it more faster. So I'm going to move it closer and go back and hit play. And you can see that effect coming in and that's the typical upward transition effect.